Hi, Randy Fairfield here, Mr. EdTech, and today I'd like to compare and contrast the Edmodo quiz features with the new Google Forms quiz features, and also take a look and see where the Flubaru add-on fits into things. After that, I'll spend some time reflecting on when it might be best to use an Edmodo quiz versus a Google Forms quiz, and then I'll also go over some advanced Edmodo quiz features that will allow you to integrate some things that you have on Google Drive into your Edmodo quizzes. Let's get started. First things first, I'd like to give some credit to Eric Kurtz at Control Alt Achieve. He recently posted up on his website about the new Google Forms quiz feature and compared it to Flubaru. I found this through his Twitter account and just wanted to give him some credit. From looking at this, it got me thinking about where Edmodo quiz features fit into things and inspired me to create this Google Doc, which looks pretty similar to Eric's, uh, although I reworded a lot of things, tried to parse it down to the most essential features as well. So I just wanted to give some credit to Eric before I got too deep into things. As you can see from the side-by-side -side comparison, most of the features that are now available through the Google Forms quiz feature have already been available through Edmodo quizzes for quite some time. Some of the key differences are one, Google Forms quizzes allow teachers to ask students questions that have multiple correct answers where students can answer with checkbox uh, style answers. Another key difference is simply the way the data displays in Google Forms. There's more options to display the data from the results of the quizzes, which gives the teacher the opportunity to show their class whole class feedback in real time to show the class how they did and drive instruction in real time. Those are really the only two key features that I see here from the quizzes that are really different between Google Forms and Edmodo. And of course Edmodo has some other options that Google Forms quizzes don't have, like the ability to grade fill in the blank questions automatically, to automatically grade matching questions, and to give long and short answer questions partial credit, also the ability, and this is key for teachers, if they're heavy Edmodo users, to have an Edmodo quiz score immediately go into the Edmodo gradebook. So there are a number of reasons for using uh, Edmodo quizzes as opposed to Google Forms quizzes, particularly if you've been with Edmodo for a while and you've been using quizzes on Edmodo you can load previous quizzes that you've used, which is really nice, and quickly assign them to classes. So as far as a tool for teachers to use to create quizzes, if you're a teacher using Edmodo, I would recommend continuing to use the Edmodo quiz feature for your quizzes. The Google Forms quiz features don't add a whole lot to the table, and the Flubaru add-on really doesn't add much to it as well. That said, there are a number of reasons why you might want to consider using Google Forms alongside Edmodo for reasons other than quizzes, and I'll get to that in just a bit. First, I'd like to take a look at some advanced Edmodo quiz features that will allow you as a teacher to link some things up into your quizzes from your Google Drive. Let's take a look. If you've already synced up your Edmodo account, with your Google Drive account, which you can do through the library right here. It allows you then, when you're creating a quiz, to go into your library and link up something from your Google Drive into your quiz. That can be an extremely helpful tool if you've got images that you'd like to insert into your quiz or videos that you'd like to insert into your quiz. You can also, if you have a YouTube video that you'd like the students to watch and then hold them accountable for, put a link to the video into your quizzes as well. So this is a very neat uh, feature from Edmodo in their quizzes to be able to link something from your library or add a link into your quiz. While the students are taking the quiz, the teacher can go right here where it says turned in and see in real time how many students have taken the quiz and how well they've done simply by continuing to refresh this page. Across the top shows the high scores for the class. It shows here that Elvis and Davey have taken the quiz. Janice is either in the process of taking it or hasn't completed it yet. 
and you can see that her name is gray here. Below there's a breakdown of the questions with some nice pie charts that give you an idea of which questions students have struggled with and which ones they've done well with. If you see one here that's really heavy red, you could click on it and see which individual students missed it and which students got it correct. You probably would not want to put this up in front of your class, however, because it shows the students who got the high scores and all that. By clicking on all submissions, you can see all the students in your class and the results that they got on this quiz. And you can go click on each student individually and see their results as well. One of the things that I love about Edmodo quizzes is that you can go and click on each individual student find the questions that they've missed, and below, give them comments that as you type them will automatically save and give them feedback on their questions. This is particularly helpful for short answer questions that have more subjective grading, but you can also go below here on multiple choice questions and copy and paste comments to students uh, about what the correct answer was. And students can then go in and see the comments that you've left them and the feedback that you've given them to help them do better the next time around. So why might a teacher consider giving a quiz via Google Forms as opposed to Edmodo? Well, first things first, let's show you how to enable the quiz feature on Google Forms. If you go up into settings, across the top you'll see three tabs. One is quizzes. And if you click here on quizzes and enable this box, you'll then make this Google Form set as a quiz. This allows the teacher to then uh, release the grades to students immediately after submission or not, and allow the students to see the questions they missed, the correct answers, and the point values or not. Those can all be unchecked and gives you some options as a teacher. Once you've done that, you can then go in and click into the questions and set multiple correct answers, which is kind of cool, uh, and set the answer key to what the answers are going to be for the questions that you've asked. You'll note that you cannot do that with the matching feature here, which is a nice thing about Edmodo is you can have matching questions that are automatically graded. And the fill in the blank questions also won't be automatically graded like they would be on Edmodo. You would have to enable the Flubaru add-on um, in here to automatically grade these kinds of questions that have text in them. It is nice in Google Forms, however, to have the option to add those checkbox style questions, which you can't do through Edmodo. And there's also some other things like a drop down and a linear scale, which really effectively don't do a whole lot more. You can ask those same type of questions through multiple choice, but it is kind of nice. One of the great things about Google Forms quizzes is the ability to see results in real time and display those to the class. This number here will increase in real time as students submit their scores without the teacher having to hit refresh. And the data display here is pretty incredible. It'll show how many students got a question correct or incorrect for multiple choice questions and also allows the teacher to show an overview of all the short answer questions that were given. So this is really a great way to put data up in front of students and then use that data to drive your instruction in real time. Whether or not you choose to use Edmodo for your quizzes or to create Google Forms quizzes and then go hit send, click the link button, and then post this link up to Edmodo, either way, I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference. If you're already using Edmodo quizzes, to me the real value of Google Forms isn't really the added quiz feature but it's the other things that you can do with Google Forms that make it a great addition to what you're already doing with Edmodo. For example, one of the things I used to do once per quarter was to give my students and parents a Google Forms survey that they could take anonymously and give me feedback about the course. This was great because it allowed me to be responsive to the way they felt the course was going, which didn't always match my perception, and it also gave me some evidence to show to my administrator that I was doing the things in the classroom that my evaluation asked me to do. I asked that students, when they took the survey, 
particularly if they gave me a lower rating, that they would leave me a comment that I could then read. Or if they gave me a great rating, I told them they could give me some feedback as to why as well. This encouraged me, but this also challenged me. I remember one of the things that a student said to me once that really changed the way I approached my classroom was they said, the teacher only talks to me when I'm failing the class. And when I read that, I really started thinking about who that student was and why they might have said that. And it really helped me be more focused on being positive towards the students that were struggling. So this could be a really neat use of Edmodo and posting a Google form up onto your Edmodo wall for the students to give you feedback. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope it's helped you think more about Edmodo quizzes and Google Forms and how you might use Edmodo and Google Forms together. If you're interested and you go to at Edmodo on Twitter, you can see they have a pinned post here that will take you to a topic surrounding Edmodo and Google integration. I will continue to post up topics once a week that relate to Edmodo and Google integration. And I hope that you can ask questions or give me feedback on the ideas that I've shared. I'd love to hear your ideas as well. So have a great day.